All right, ladies and gents, welcome, Hush Gardeners. This is going to be the final installment of the build of the Arduino Nano Pulse Induction Metal Detector Project. I'm going to uh, roll the uh, integrator and the audio section all into one, get this done and dusted. You can see the completed circuit board here, right? We have our probe currently hooked up to the output of the preamp and we're going to look at uh, the sample delay and how we can adjust that with the installed uh, potentiometer. So let's look at that right now on the oscilloscope. All right, on the oscilloscope you see on channel one the output of the preamp test point six and our main sample which is test point five and I am going to adjust the delay potentiometer. There it is at minimum. And we'll move it out to maximum. There we have it. You can see that we are at uh, 50 microseconds. Change that to 25 microseconds. Let's bring that all the way back. And you can see how close we can get there. And I am going to leave it adjusted right about there. So just maybe halfway as it's coming out of um, saturation. All right, on screen now we have the output of the preamp and on channel 2 the uh, just the straight line there that's the first stage of the integrator so I am going to present a target to the coil and what we're gonna see hopefully is that voltage level raising in amplitude you'll also note that you can see the deflection there on the preamp signal right there as we present a target to the coil. So that is test point 10. That's the first part of the LM358 integrator. Let's take a look at test point 11 which is the second part. Alright, let's take a look at test point 11. This is the second part of the integrator and obviously since it is the second part it is going to be much more sensitive because of the additional gain so we're going to present target once again raised and you, you see the uh, the voltage up and it resets itself it comes back so we are successful there let's take a listen to the audio portion and then we'll do a quick wrap up by having a brief look at the schematic okay we are going to present target and hopefully you hear that clearly what I have here are high impedance set of headphones Okay, I think that's all pretty clear. You should have heard what it sounds like. And let's go take a look at that schematic. Okay, so as uh, promised, we're going to take a real quick look at the uh, schematic. And let's start up here with the LM358. It's a dual op amp, as you know. So the first portion of the op amp what it what is doing is it is taking the uh, sample the main sample and it's subtracting the earth field sample from it okay um, we looked at test point 10 as you recall uh, so when we have a target presented the voltage 
at test point 10 that you're going to see is going to be increasing. All right. Second portion includes the threshold here, right? Threshold pot that we we saw, and right here, this uh, 470 nanofarad capacitor, and the uh, 220k resistor here. Those form a self-adjusting threshold, and then the second part of the op amp right we have test point 11 and we saw how the voltage increased quite uh, exponentially when it had a target presented to it and that leaves us with the uh, audio portion um, this is not a um, a vco as Many of these detectors are that annoying tick, 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 the sound you love to hate. Um, instead, the audio in this, uh, it increases in volume the stronger the signal is. Okay, you see the Darlington pair here, MPSA 13 and suggested that you use either a high impedance speaker or as i use high impedance headphones so that's all we're going to look at today um, thank you for joining me on this project very enjoyable and i hope to have something new for you shortly thanks guys